Yesterday we just got some new boards and we met up with Josh Borden and Omar Hassan. They're the local boys here. <laughs> and yeah, get some surf going in Huntington Beach. I just recently got an apartment here in Huntington. It makes it a little bit easier to live from traveling instead of all the time Brazil, US, or Brazil, wherever. My dad, um, I think he moved to California for a year. And with that, he saw kind of the whole surfing, skating vibes. My dad moved to this house with my mom, and they built a mini ramp in the backyard. And that was the thing I skated. It was just that mini ramp or whichever sidewalk that was possible to skate. When he first came out here, you know, he was like probably I'd say 15 or so and he started skating the events. His dad would take him out to contests and he would sleep on floors. And so it wasn't like he had like this groomed upbringing like Americans kind of, you know, like he was definitely grassroots. We're not born where the culture of skateboarding is from. We're born in a third world country, so everything is harder. There's that kind of will to be able to like embrace that opportunity and not let go because not that many opportunities are really given. The energy in Brazil, like when Pedro's skating and when the Park Series contest is in town, everyone's there to see Pedro, you know? In Brazil, they have a lot of pride and passion and just love for their countrymen and women. If you have that guy in Brazil, it is one of those situations, the louder you cheer, the higher I go. Like, he does that. It's insane, it's like a pep rally or something like that, and like, you get into it, like, oh my God, he's doing, he's really doing it, Brazil, yeah! And Brazil, when they have an extra something to like, be proud of, they're extra proud of, and they're extra cheering for it, and like, when they're seeing a skater represent their flag, they're like, this guy has to win, you know, like, at the contest in Florianopolis, I would have been somewhat shook to be a judge. Jake Phelps' quote to me before that was, if Pedro doesn't win, someone dying tonight. <laughs> Pedro knows what to do to qualify, and he knows what to do to win, so he's never in danger of missing the cut. He's smart enough to know what he's good at, and he knows when to turn it up to that like next level. A lot of dudes just kind of go out there and like do what they can do. He wants a 93. Kickflip Indy on the teardrop. Oh my, are you kidding me? Pedro Farras. To see him in, in kind of his hometown and kind of just to see like how people look at him and how he treats everybody just with respect and is trying to build that scene. How he skates, how hard he skates, how dedicated, how driven he is to it. It's inspiring to so many people. Pedro is gonna to try to come in in 2018 and try to win everything, which is awesome. I can't wait to see it. In the end, I think the competition, at least for me, and I think a lot of people, it's with yourself. When you kind of feel a little bit of what skating can bring to your life and what of a change it can bring, like, wait a second, I wanna see skating changing lives like it did mine and like it changes lives of people around me every day.